أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وإذ تأذن ربكم لئن شكرتم لأزيدنكم ولئن كفرتم إن عذابي لشديد رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي فالحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم قرآن ويكلي I want to share with you the seventh ayah of Surah Ibrahim. This is the uh, 13th juz of the Quran. And I'm just going to get straight into what Allah says Himself when your master declared that even if you are the least bit grateful, in shakartum, even if you were grateful a little bit, Allah is saying, even if you showed a little, little, little bit of gratitude, He's not asking for a lot. La azidannakum, I will increase you, increase you increase you and increase you, I swear to it. The strongest language possible is used. If you could show the least bit of gratitude. And the question is, grateful to who? You would think grateful to Allah, but Allah didn't mention Himself. So you could be grateful to Allah, grateful to your parents, grateful to your teachers, grateful for your health, grateful to, you know, to, to friends, grateful to anyone who's done anything for you, grateful to your employer for giving you a job, appreciative. If you could just become appreciative, if you could just become grateful, because grateful is not just an act of saying Alhamdulillah, grateful is an attitude, it's a lifestyle, it's a way of thinking, right? You're constantly grateful. But if you could show that attitude even the least bit, what does Allah say? La azidannakum. I swear to it, I will increase you. There's no doubt about it, I swear to it, I will increase you. And Allah doesn't use I normally in the Quran, He usually uses we. It is only in the most intense cases in the Quran that Allah uses I. He used I here. The question is, you know, uh, comes up, increase you in what? Increase you in what? Because you could say, Allah increase me in knowledge, increase me in wisdom, increase me in patience. You know? We say, Rabbi zidni ilman. We don't just say, Rabbi zidni. We don't just say, Allah increase me. We say, Allah increase me in knowledge. Allah says, Zadathum imanan. He increased them in faith. He doesn't just say, He increased them. In this ayah, He says, You show gratitude even in the least bit. I will increase you. Increase you, increase you in what? Allah didn't limit what He will increase you in. That's the beauty of this ayah. The motivation to be grateful in this ayah is I will keep giving you more and more and more and more and more of everything. You think of it, I will give it to you. If it's beneficial for you, I will give it to you. I'll take care of it, I promise. You just show me gratitude. You know this ayah was actually part of a speech given by Musa a.s. And you know he was giving the speech to the Israelites and he was giving the speech to the Israelites after they had crossed the water and when they had crossed the water they had memories of their children being slaughtered every other year these are scarred parents that have traveled that have seen torture and sacri you know they've suffered through so many things and instead of giving them a khutbah a sermon about patience because they're in the desert right you would think Musa will get up alayhi salam and give them a sermon about patience he gives them a sermon about gratitude because you will never be able to have patience if you don't have gratitude. Gratitude comes first. If you can be grateful, Allah will take care of all of your needs and He'll keep adding more and more and more and more and more. La azidannakum wa la in kafartum. And if you are ungrateful, unappreciative, you can't see the good in life. Allah could have said, and if you are ungrateful, I will take away from you. I will punish you. I like I before. He doesn't mention it. He said, Inna adabi la shadeed. No doubt my punishment is intense. You know, it sounds like a really harsh ayah, right? If you're grateful, I'll increase you. And if you're ungrateful, my punishment is intense. But actually, you know, it's not an if and then statement. It's a nuance of the Arabic language that Allah did not say, Wala in kafartum fa inna adabi la shadeed. There's no fa. If it was a fa, that means if you are ungrateful, then my punishment is intense for sure. There's no then. You know what that means? That means it's not an if and then statement. That means Allah did not make it, if you're ungrateful, I will punish you. It's not like that. Allah said, if you are ungrateful, dot, dot, dot. He's not even finishing that sentence. He just went to a new sentence. My punishment happens to be really intense. He didn't connect the two grammatically. And that itself is something we should be grateful for. That is just the fact that Allah didn't put a fa there. Because if he put a father, it would have been, if you're ungrateful, then you better know that my punishment is intense. It's not like that. If you're ungrateful, nothing. There's a nothing. And then he says, my punishment is really intense. 
my punishment. And he didn't, he didn't put a fa there. That, just him not doing that is actually something we should be eternally grateful for. That itself. What a beautiful, beautiful ayah. And what a motivation that Musa alayhi salam gave. It was such a powerful khutbah, you know, that he declared to the Bani Israel that Allah made it a part of the Qur'an. May Allah Azza wa Jal help us learn from the beautiful wisdom of the Qur'an and make us a grateful people and see the brighter side in things. Stop being so gloomy and pessimistic all the time. Stop looking at the downside of everything. Stop complaining all the time. Stop criticizing everything. Stop being so cynical. Be appreciative of the people around you and your friends and your teachers and your parents and your school, your health, your physique. Stop complaining you're too fat, you're too short, you're too skinny. Stop complaining. Stop, start being grateful. Stop complaining that you've been sick for a week. Start being happy that you are not sicker than so many others. Start, start being grateful. And Allah will increase and increase and increase because that is His promise. May Allah help us all recognize that promise of Allah and qualify us for it. Barakallahu li wa lakum. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.